presenter today is, doc, is Yang Mei Li, of, author of the abstract title, Alcohol Consumption, Smoking, and Risk of Stroke in Men and Women, the European Perspective Investigation into Cancer Norfolk Population Study. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for your interest on my um, abstract entitled, Alcohol Consumption, Smoking and risk of stroke in men and women, the European Perspective Investigation into Cancer No Folk Population Study. Today I'm going to briefly introduce the, you the background methods, main results, and some points for discussion for this study. Uh, during the past 20 years, many epidemiological studies have been conducted to examine the um, association between alcohol consumption and the risk of stroke. However, the results have been inconsistent. While heavy alcohol consumption is thought to increase the risk of all stroke, ischemic stroke, and hemorrhage stroke, the effect of light to moderate alcohol drinking on stroke varied a lot between studies. So our objective was to use data from European Perspective Investigation of Cancer, which is, um, I will just say, um, EPIC um, below, EPIC novel population study to explore the association between alcohol and stroke. Our methods the EPIC NOFO is part of an international collaborative EPIC study investigating the association between dietary intake and cancer. From the outset, the, the aims and data collection of the EPIC NOFO cohort have been broadened to include determinants of health and chronic diseases. From 1993 to 1997, more than 25,000 men and women aged 39 to 79 years were recruited from general practice register in Norfolk, UK. Since in the UK, virtually all residents are registered with a general practice through the National Health Service, this serves as a population-based register. We only included participants who were free of stroke, heart diseases, and cancer at baseline and who had data on drinking status, and we followed them up to 2008 for incident stroke. At baseline, all the participants complete a health and lifestyle questionnaire and attended a health check from which their drinking habits, smoking history, and other baseline characteristics were obtained. Um, we examined this association using the Cox proportional hazard regression models. Our findings, data were available for more than 10,000 men and 12,000 women from the original cohort. During the average 12 years of follow-up, 870 strokes were documented. Alcohol consumption and stroke risk appeared U-shaped, which is, um, means that in this epinovo population, um, we can observe a U-shaped association between alcohol and stroke risk with the lowest risk appearing in people who drink three to 14 units per week. Um, for your reference, one unit equals about eight grams which equals about one glass of wine. And compared to non-drinkers, former drinkers, uh, oh sorry, compared to uh, non-drinkers, light to moderate drinkers may have lower stroke risk, but as the amount increased, the inverse association was not observed anymore, and heavy drinkers may even have higher risk of stroke. We also find, um, not surprisingly, um, smoking was a risk factor for stroke. Um, if you are a current smoker, then you will have a uh, risk of um, about 64% higher than never smokers. 
plus um, these two findings, we also find that the interaction between alcohol consumption and smoking is significant, which means that um, although the um, interaction term was only borderline significant, but we are, um, we are able to say that any potential beneficial effect of drinking moderate amount of alcohol on stroke may be counteracted by cigarette smoking. Um, there are some points for discussion. Uh, the relationship we found between alcohol uh, consumption and stroke was uh, consistent with some of the previous studies um, which showed that uh, alcohol was associated with a lower risk of stroke but only within the moderate amount. And the interaction we found, uh, we haven't, as to our knowledge, we, uh, we haven't found any previous studies reporting this uh, in interaction term. Um, this means that the different results from previous studies may be caused by different, <coughs> um, different proportion of smokers in the cohort, which means that the previous protective of alcohol on stroke um, could be, um, well, we, we, we could have some thought about the previous findings and see whether the, uh, um, the protective effect was only because they've got less smokers. So um, basically this is our findings and our conclusion is that in this middle-aged and older men and women population in the UK, alcohol consumption and stroke risk appeared U-shaped. Moderate alcohol consumption up to 14 units a week was associated with a lower risk of stroke. Um, but there was a significant, borderline significant effect modification between alcohol consumption and smoking for stroke, which will prompt for future studies to examine this alcohol stroke association in more depth. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lee.